Hey, everyone, it's Big D Trump coming at you again with another tier list video. Did you just call yourself Big D Trump? Yes, Sleepy Joe. Anyway, today we're going to be ranking the wonder weapons from Call of Duty Zombies. Wait, hang on, Donnie. Don't you think we should respond to some of the comments from the previous video? Because a lot of people weren't happy with our ranking. What do you mean? Our ranking was fantastic. Absolutely perfect. The best ranking ever. A lot of people were saying that, by the way. No, they weren't. Some people were so disappointed with where you ranked certain perks like Double Tap. I went and played some Black Ops, and it's not even that bad. Why did you rank it so low, Trump? Because it's trash and you waste ammo. No, you don't. I think you're just a bit trigger happy. You don't need to hold the analog when the gun shoots quicker. That's why you're wasting ammo. It kills zombies quicker. It's a good perk. Well, I disagree. Joe, the tier list was perfect as we left it. But I get it. It's a democracy. People are entitled to their own opinions, but they're wrong. You're so full of yourself. Double Tap wasn't the only perk that people disagreed with. Joe, I literally don't care. Spoon asked for a tier list, and he's not even paying me to do all this. Trump, honestly, you need to respect the folks at home. These viewers haven't done anything wrong. Some of them just didn't like other aspects of the video, like the music in the background. Joe, that has nothing to do with me. That's Spoon's fault. Uh... Anyway, can we move on to the actual video here? I want to hurry up because I'm having a discussion with Obama later about why I hate Die Rise. Speaking of Obama, some people were asking where he's been. They were disappointed that he didn't show up to rank the perks with us. If the audience wants to see Obama, I'm sure I can try to record our debate later on and upload it to Spoon's channel. I'm sure that will work. Joe, can we please start the tier list now? Sure. What are we ranking again? We are ranking the Wonder Weapons from COD Zombies. And once again, no Cold War, no Black Ops 4, classic zombies only. You've probably just disappointed about half of the audience right there. Shut up, Joe. Okay, we're going in order of release. So to begin, we have the ray gun, a certified classic. Oh my God, I love the ray gun so much. My beautiful baby ray gun. Okay, cut it out, creepy Joe. This gun is awesome. Where to begin? It helped evolve the zombies mode to what we know and love now all the way back in World at War. Yeah, it's crazy to think it was even included in a campaign mission in World at War. In zombies, it's so good too. Uh, I'm not sure there, Joe. It progressively got worse in each installment. How did it get worse? It's the same gun in each game. If anything, they made it better because they made it look really cool. By the time Buried came out, they redesigned the ray gun. And oh boy, it's so sexy. Joe, you're talking about a gun there. Calm down. And what I'm saying, Joe, is that in games like Black Ops 2 and 3, there's more variety of wonder weapons you can choose. And just overall, normal weapons are more powerful thanks to Double Tap 2. So you're telling me that you don't get excited to get the ray gun if you're playing a good old game of town survival? Why would I get excited about pulling the ray gun out of the box when I know I could get the ray gun Mark II? That's so unfair. It is fair, Joe. It literally prevents you from getting the Mark II once you equip the ray gun. I think the ray gun is without a doubt an S tier. Nostalgia, awesome design, it has everything. Yeah, Joe, it has everything, such as splash damage. This belongs comfortably in B tier, I think. It's iconic, but it doesn't hold up against the wonder weapons that would release after it. The splash damage can be removed with perks or gobble gums. Why don't we agree on A tier? I think that is too high, but fine. What is it Dempsey calls this, the wonder waffle? Ha ha, yeah, he does call it that. Well, you know what I call it? S tier. No surprise there. I knew you'd rate it high. Of course I would. It's awesome. So you'll knock the ray gun down for splash damage, but won't account for the splash damage from the Wunderwaffe. Even though you can even lose Juggernaug and Deriza by shocking yourself. It's very simple, Joe. Just don't shock yourself. Why do I even try with you? It's going in S tier. That's final. Uh, it's probably the only furry I like. What's a furry? Nothing, Joe. Don't worry. Well, these little guys are iconic, and they've saved my backside plenty of times. No one can save your orange backside. What? What did you just say? Uh... Anyway, this is another ray gun situation to me. It's iconic, and it's been there almost since the very start. Where the monkey bombs differ, though, is that they are still effective in later games. They distract all the zombies, and you get three of them. They're so good, Joe. But one time I threw a monkey, and all it did was laugh at me, and the zombies killed me after. That's because you're a noob, and you threw it out of the map, probably meaning it didn't work. Anyway, I'm saying A tier. 
A-tier works for me, too. Just wish someone would have told me I can't throw them out of the map to use them. Joe, there's no way the ray gun and the monkeys are in the same tier. We have to put the ray gun down at B, at least. Okay, fine. I guess that's okay. Okay, now, this is one of the best wonder weapons ever. I love using this gun with Richtofen. I love it when he says he'd rather it sucked and not blown. Joe, that is really sus. Anyway, this gun does infinite damage, which already makes it totally amazing. I loved playing Kino back in the day whilst using the Thunder Gun on the stage. Good memories. Man, I really enjoyed having the Apothecon Servant and the Thunder Gun together on Revelations. It got me to round 15. Joe, you noob. But yes, the Thunder Gun is really amazing. We don't really need to discuss this one either. It's S-tier, without a doubt. Agreed. Great, now we have the worst creation of mankind. Of course, it's the Winter's Howl. You really think this weapon is that bad? Yes, of course I do. It's so trash, Joe. Where do we even begin? It stops becoming a one-shot in the earlier rounds, meaning you have to shoot the zombies up to three times to kill them properly, and you don't even have that much ammo to work with. You have 30 shots to work with altogether. I've heard it been said that it takes up to 12 shots just to freeze a zombie on round 50. That's insanely bad, Joe. But I bet you're going to tell me you love this gun, aren't you? Yes, I love this weapon. Typical. How can you love this gun? It is so trash. Because I don't use it as my primary zombie-killing weapon. I use it when I get stuck, and I quickly have to get out. If I'm about to get cornered, it's a perfect tool to get me out of a sticky situation that could end my game. It's not my ideal zombie-killing weapon, but it works for how I use it, and for that, I think it's B-tier. There's something seriously wrong with you if you think this is B-tier. If you had the ray gun and an upgraded RPK, you're telling me you'd swap the ray gun for the Winter's Howl? Yes, and then I'd get Mule Kick and get the ray gun again. That's so cap, but fine if you really like it that much. I'll put it in C-tier just for you. It deserves more than that, but you won't budge, so C-tier it is, I guess. Okay, next we have a really cool wonder weapon. It's the Gersh device. Uh, I haven't seen this before. What is it? Oh my god, Joe, it's a really cool weapon. You have to try it out. What does it do? It creates a black hole similar to the Apothecon Servant, but you can jump inside the black hole, and it will teleport you to somewhere different on the map. Okay, that's pretty cool. I personally think that these are cooler than the monkey bombs, and it's quite effective at killing zombies, too. It'll suck an entire horde into that black hole. Gosh, I bet that's fun to watch. Yes, it is, and it's going in S tier. Can't argue with that. Oh, boy, next it's those Russian doll things. Matryoshka dolls? I bet you love them. What, because they're Russian? Very clever, Joe. You're honestly so original. No, because they're actually pretty good. No, they're not. These things suck. They're C-tier at most. Oh, come on, man. These things are like a cluster grenade. They bounce around everywhere and kill zombies. No problem. Until you get to higher rounds and they just create crawlers, meaning you just have grenades bouncing around. Not a problem if you have PhD flopper, but are you seriously going to choose these over the Gersh device? I only use them in Tagged or Toten. Of course, because only recently have you started playing Black Ops, so you still haven't played Ascension or Call of the Dead. You had no idea what I was talking about when we were discussing the perks most of the time. Cut me some slack, but getting back on track, I think these dolls aren't that bad. No, they suck. I would have preferred monkey bombs to these in Call of the Dead. But in Call of the Dead, it's better than nothing. I think they're okay, so I'm going to say B tier. Nope, no way, way too high. I'm saying D tier. Tell me something, Joe. Have you managed to reach round 20 yet? No, not yet, sadly. Then they're going in D tier. I hate you sometimes, Donald. What is this, a sniper? Oh my god, no sleepy Joe, it's the scavenger. Like the multiplayer perk? No, Joe, it's a wonder weapon. Does it even resemble the scavenger icon to you? That's clearly a gun, Joe. You just said that yourself. So another wonder weapon I've never used? Obviously, it's nothing special, Joe. I don't know, man. You said that about a lot of things in the previous video, and the folks at home got pretty mad with your ranking. So despite the fact I've never seen or used this weapon before, I'm going to say S tier. Look at that. The Democrat will say or do anything just for people's approval. That's pretty sad, Joe. Shut up, man. I just don't trust you to judge these weapons alone. Joe, honestly, this weapon is cool, but it's not fantastic. It shoots rounds that explode after three seconds from being shot. The explosion is pretty impressive, I'll admit, and I use it to kill George Romero a lot, but it has a low ammo count and requires PhD flopper to use it safely. So it's a sniper that shoots explosive rounds? Exactly, Joe. It's better than the ray gun, though. 
but not as good as the Thunder Gun and the Wonder Waffa, so it's A tier for me. If we get angry comments, I'm blaming you. Uh, next, we have this ugly son of a... This gun looks really cool. I think I've seen this on a YouTube video before, on an Easter egg guide, I think. Is it the one that turns zombies into zombies? Zombies into zombies? Jesus, Joe, you're really stupid. Damn, I meant zombies into humans. Yes, and can briefly turn George Romero back into a calm state. Okay, cool. What else does it do? That's it. What, for real? Yes. It's pretty much the alternative to the monkey bombs. You use humans as bait for the zombies. If I remember correctly, it doesn't even distract all the zombies. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it's trash, Joe. You have to waste a weapon slot for this garbage. Well, I mean, you can always buy mule kick. Shut up, Joe. I swear to God, man. Joe, it's going in D tier, and that's final. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Barack. Hey, Obama. I'm just ranking some wonder weapons with Joe. I can see that. I can see your rankings. You really did the VR-11 dirty there. I think you should at least bump it up another tier for its ability in co-op mode. Fine. Wait, what's the ability? If you shoot a player with the pack-a-punched version of the VR-11, it will give them insta-kill and zombie blood mode. Oh, that's cool. Trump, it's time to discuss a serious matter. Okay, okay, Joe, I have to go, but we'll pick this up another time, maybe a part two. Sounds good to me, Donnie. Goodbye. Bye, Joe. Well, I suppose if you want me and Trump to continue this list, let us know in the comments. I've also got a note here from Spoon telling me not to forget to tell the audience thank you for the support and feedback on the previous video, so thank you. Okay, I am going to go now. It's nap time. Good night, everyone.